So if there was one thing that you absolutely had to have as a semi-free former, what would it be? Uh -huh. Welcome back to the Atreyu Lock channel. Hi, I'm Atreyu, a semi-free former who is dedicated to bringing you the best tips to grow out of these set of blocks. If this is your first time, make yourself comfortable. I am glad to have you. Yes, I knew the background is still green. Feeling a little nostalgic when my friend Christian was here. By the way, if you guys have not seen that video where my Peruvian friend and I discuss dreadlocks, then yeah, definitely check out last week's video. So yeah, feeling a little bit nostalgic and sentimental. I haven't had the heart to go back to blue, but it'll be back next week. So I was thinking about this today and just how, you know, everybody is like on the grind trying to make their money and there is this push for products when it comes to dreadlocks. You gotta have this or your life will be so much easier if you have that. And you know, having a little bit of longevity in the lock game now, I realized that it's just not true. Like you don't need those things. And it seems like a no brainer when you think about the fact that before all of those different products and items existed back in the day, people had dreadlocks and they thrived and they had some of the most beautiful, attractive dreadlocks ever to exist. So of course you don't need all these things that people are promoting. I feel like as time goes on, we look for more and more things that offer a certain level of convenience to our life, right? It enhances the quality of our life, but I think oftentimes we forget that we don't need these things. We just feel like we want them. But even then, after you get it, how soon does the novelty wear off, right? I remember being super excited about, you know, various things, maybe as a child, a new toy or whatever. And then it's like, ah, oh, I gotta have it, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. And then once I finally get it, <laughs> the next week my eyes are on to something else. I feel like that is just kind of what happens. It's part of the human condition, you know? The the newness, the excitement wears off over time. And it's the same thing when it comes to dreadlocks. You may learn about this new product and you're like, oh yeah, I gotta have it. My, my lock journey would be so much better if I had this or that, or you know, if I could do this with it. But then the novelty wears off and you realize in hindsight, because it is 2020, that you never needed it at all. And proof of the fact that you didn't need it is because you were fine before you had it and you're probably not even using it right now. <laughs> Just funny, we are such funny people. So I was thinking about if there was one thing that I had to have as a semi-free form locker, what would it be? Assuming that I have access to water to, you know, wash my locks or whatever. The thing that I came up with, which will probably surprise you guys, uh, because it's not a product like in the sense that you're thinking like you know a spray or something like that it's not it's nothing like that because I'm a semi free farmer that means that I do maintenance every so often emphasis on every so often which means I go several months without doing maintenance because I have hair that grows away from my locks my roots tend to marry a lot and so the thing that I realized that I need as a semi free form locker who occasionally does maintenance are these. Hey, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload. How about that? Clips. <laughs> yes, clips. Definitely clips. It wasn't castor oil, it wasn't Jamaican black castor oil, it wasn't tea tree oil, it wasn't dyes or bleaches, it wasn't, uh, what do you call them, perm rods, I think they're called. It wasn't all these other things that like, you know, people in the lock community swear by, you know, this concoction and that concoction that's supposed to promote growth or whatever. And yeah, it wasn't even my scalp massager that I love and use from time to time. Actually, I haven't used it in a while, but I still love it. It was a freaking clip. Clips. The reason that I need clips is because 
as I said, my hair tends to marry and I just need to be able to section off the locks once I retwist them so that everything doesn't get back messy. And it provides me like with a sense of calm and I'm able to clearly see the progress that I'm making when I do that maintenance. It's kind of like a security blanket, it's a security clip, if you will. So yeah, out of all the things that are out here, all the products and tools that people need to use while they are on a lock journey, for me, it's clips, clips. Let me know what is the one product that you feel that you have to have to have a successful lock journey. It can only be one product, so choose wisely. If you choose to love, do so unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. This is Atreyu Locks and I will see you next week. Peace.